15 Strangest Animal Markings. Number 15, the Halloween crab. It's also known as the red land crab, the moon crab, and it goes by a long scientific name I really can't pronounce. Suffice it to say, the colorful crustacean is found along the Pacific coast from Mexico to Panama. It's known for the orange coloring, which makes it a natural for the eve of all hollows, and it's pretty well known as well for those distinctive purple claws. Number 14 purple polar bear. Last we heard, polar bears are white, so what happened to this one? Pelusa was a 23-year-old bear at a zoo in Mendoza, Argentina that had a case of dermatitis. The treatment was an antiseptic spray that turned her trademark white fur into a deep shade of violet. The condition attracted international attention and managed to make a celebrity out of the animal, turning her into the zoo's most popular attraction. Number 13, panda dolphin. More formally known as Commerson's dolphin, they're also called skunk dolphins or piebald dolphins. The smaller oceanic dolphins that comprise two geographically isolated subspecies. The principal subspecies has sharp black and white patterns and is found near the tip of South America. The second larger subspecies has patterning that is less sharply delineated and has lighter gray patterning along with a white band on its underside. They are found in the Indian Ocean. Number 12, King Cheetah. You know cheetahs for the speed and for those awesome spots, but there's one animal that has a very distinct fur pattern due to a rare mutation, one unique enough to earn it the title of King Cheetah. This big cat has large blotchy spots and three dark wide stripes running vertically from its neck to the tail. It's so rare that it wasn't even photographed until 1975 and has only been reported in the wild five times since the 1920s. Number 11, Purple Squirrel. It was spotted near a school in Hampshire, England, and the little rodent had experts baffled. The fur appears purple all the way through, not like the animal had been spray painted. Some guesses include that the squirrel may be some sort of a mutant. No one really seems to know. Number 10, Piebald animals. That term refers to animals that have a pattern of pigmented spots on a white background of feathers, scales, or hair. In this picture by Marcus Jane Ball, you can see a piebald ball python. Notice how certain sections of its scales almost appear to be albino. And in this photo by Maurice Chenard, you can see that even a moose can be piebald. Look at how the animal even has blue eyes. Did you know the term piebald is a reference to the distinctive black and white plumage of the magpie? Many animals, in addition to the ones mentioned here, can evidence the condition. Number nine blonde zebra. Would you have guessed this is really a zebra? This photo from Stepshep shows an example of what happens when the animal has a condition of albinism or leukism. When zebras lack black pigmentation, they have stripes that are pale or missing and are often called blonde zebras. A small herd of these animals live at the Mount Kenya Wildlife Conservancy. If you'd like to know more about albino and leukistic animals, check out our video, 21 Mostly Albino Creatures Explained. Number eight, spotless. In 2012, an extremely rare spotless adult cheetah was, uh, well, spotted in Kenya. A photographer got within 50 yards of the creature that seemed to have a plain sandy colored coat. Now it actually did have hundreds of tiny freckles, but no trademark spots. Experts think the condition is likely caused by a recessive gene, not unlike what causes the markings on the king cheetah. Researchers think the most recent sighting before this was in 1921. Number seven, pink katydid. The pink coloration in these insects is due to a condition called erythrism. You can see the vibrant colors of the bug in these pictures by Thomas Morse. It really stands out in sharp contrast to its surroundings, doesn't it? Well, it may look pretty, but it's a bad deal for the insect because the vivid coloration makes them more visible to predators. Most don't survive to adulthood. Number six, 
Half Sidus. These animals gain their unique coloration as the result of a rare phenomenon that essentially fuses two individual animals into one living being. The condition often arises in birds, splitting colors straight down the middle, sometimes resulting in a bird that is half green and half blue, for example. The scientific term is tetragametic chimera that describes fertilized twin embryos fused during early development. You can see how the condition affects a northern cardinal in the picture by D.W. Maiden. The two colors are precisely divided down the middle of the animal. And the condition can also affect insects like butterflies and even crustaceans. Number five blue lobster. You've heard of a red lobster, but how about a blue lobster? A fisherman in Maine trapped one of these unique crustaceans, and it was literally a one in a million catch. Experts estimate that only one or two lobsters in a million have this blue coloration. The condition is caused by a genetic defect that causes the animal to produce too much of a certain protein. The two pound blue lobster won't end up as a blue plate special, we're happy to say. The fisherman says it will be turned over to the Maine State Aquarium where it will join three of its blue brothers and one orange lobster. Number four, black rooster. This might look like a sculpture, but it is actually a relatively uncommon breed of chicken called A.M. Samani that comes from Indonesia. As you can see, the bird is black all over, but that coloration goes beyond skin deep. The animals have a dominant gene that causes hyperpigmentation. In addition to having black feathers, the bird's beak, tongue, bones, and even internal organs are also black. However, if you were wondering, their blood is red, and the hens don't lay black eggs. The eggs are actually cream color with a pinkish tint. Now, if you want one, they're known to sell for around 2,500 US dollars. Number three. Venus. This is a cat who became an internet star and even has her own Facebook page thanks to that distinctive coloring. As you can see, one half of the feline's face is jet black, while the other is calico. Her eyes are different colors as well. One is green, the other an icy blue. She's known as a chimera cat due to her genetic composition. The different eye colors are caused by heterochromia, a result of too much or too little melanin. That unique look invited comparisons to Batman's nemesis Two-Face. But so far as we know, Venus is still on the right side of the law. Number two, Indian bullfrog. Look at the vivid colors in this picture by Sushil Shrestha. The yellow coloring is almost fluorescent, and the bright blue vocal sacs on either side of the amphibian's neck almost look like polished metal. It's hard to believe this creature is usually a drab brown or olive green color, but when mating season rolls around, the males make this dramatic wardrobe change, as it were. Number one. This Rottweiler has a case of vitiligo. It causes depigmentation of parts of the fur or skin. You can see how the condition has affected the color of the dog's fur in this picture taken by Pi on Facebook. The unique coloration happens when the cells responsible for pigmentation, called melanocytes, are unable to function or if they die. But hey, come on, this dog looks awesome, right? He could be in a Mad Max movie.